spoil I should say spoilers, right? The Joker 2's ending has reportedly leaked, and I reportedly dug it. Hey, hey, get spoilers. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Hit the like button. If you're new here, click on subscribe. And uh, don't forget to hit the bell to stay up to date with all, with all, with all, with all of our latest videos. Joker 2, the highly anticipated Joker 2. I really like the first Joker, and I'm really excited to see Joker 2 and where it goes. And when I, I haven't seen it, I swear. And I'm really excited to see where Joker 2 takes us. The Harley Quinn, she, uh, what's her name? Lady Gaga, 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 Gaga. She just released an album on Friday the 27th with a bunch of songs. They're like jazzy pop songs. Let's just stop rambling. How about that? Let's get right to the meat of this whole thing. The Joker 2 ending has leaked on the interwebs. No surprise there uh, that that's happened. You know, you, you show people a movie a month away. It's just bound to happen. This is what happens. But now it's all over the place. And DC fans are pissed off they are not liking it i though i read this thing and i was like you know what i uh, i kind of dig it i really want to see the movie i like the idea i like i said i really enjoyed the first joker i like the idea of kind of mixing song in this one and playing more with with arthur fleck's mental state like it was the first one all in his head was it not like what's this and that also the movie the movie the joker and the batman kind of mirror each other story-wise it's kind of if you watch them both they're, they're very similar uh, but anyway let's talk about the ending so the ending comes and arthur fleck gets arrested towards the the end of it harley quinn i guess breaks up with him and he gets arrested he goes to prison and while he's in prison he's with an inmate who's played by let me check his name by actor uh, Jacob Laughlin. Jacob Laughlin is an inmate with him. And he says, hey, oh, spoil. I should say spoilers, right? He says, hey, 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 again, spoilers. Do you want to hear a joke? And Arthur's like, yeah, man, I want to hear a joke. Why not? Tell me a joke. That is a great Joaquin Phoenix. I don't want to hear from you. And uh, and as he tells the joke, instead of giving him the punchline, stabs him, like, guts him, right? Like stabs him. And, and Arthur bleeds out, and he dies. The last shot, I guess, is of Arthur Fleck's... Or, I don't know if the last shot... Whatever. Anyway, Arthur Fleck dies. And then you see uh, unnamed inmate Jacob Laughlin then give himself the Glasgow smile, which was the original ending of the first Joker, where Joaquin Phoenix gave it to... Uh, Arthur gave it to himself, and then he switched it to blood, which I thought was a great visual. Great visual. Uh, but So he gives it to him. I, so look, I actually kind of really dig this for a few reasons. There's one. Okay, if if you're going to tell me that this is the the Heath Ledger Ledger Joker and they want this to lead into Dark Knight, then I'm like, you're lame sauce, complete lame sauce. But on its own, as as a sequel to the first Joker, which like I said, I very much enjoyed playing with the the themes and whatnot of that first Joker. Is it in his head? Is it not in his head? Is he actually this Joker character? I like the idea that he's not Batman's Joker. I completely dig that idea. I always kind of, what I really always wanted, uh, truthfully, was that I, like, I kind of like, in my head canon, I like that this was in the same universe as Matt Reeves' Batman. Obviously, visually, you know, they're very different. But that's what I wanted. I didn't want Arthur Fleck to be the Joker in that world. Obviously, he's got his Joker in that world. What I wanted was a character that kind of starts the evolution of the Joker and we get to where they are now, whether or not any of this is factual in his mind who knows what's going on i think there's more at play here we'll have to find out till we see the movie but i like the idea that arthur fleck joker is not batman's joker it's somebody who like mentally is is just not in that head it's like it's somewhere completely different and we're seeing a very different avenue from this because again the joker i like joker you know obviously you know jack nicholson's joker had a backstory some of them have backstories I like the Joker as just being a psychotic freak and you don't know where he came from. You don't know why he is the way he is. And that's that. And so I, I love the Joker movies as, as James Gunn said, as these else world stories where you're kind of telling these little tidbits of information, side stories like, Oh, this in another universe, in another dimension, this is actually how the Joker could play it. I love that idea too. I like, I say do that with everybody. Like give us more, more, more material, the better. So that's how I feel. I actually, like I said, I really like it. I like the idea that you, that these are two separate characters, and I like that he freaking dies at the end. Have some balls and kill your character off. Let's go! I'm in. I also heard this movie super boring. So it's probably going to be a 10 out of 10 for me because I like boring movies and I'm not afraid to admit it. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think of these leaks? Are they real? Are they false? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Most people apparently are not enjoying them whatsoever. I kind of think it's cool. I'm still going to see this movie right away. Can't wait. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, 
subscribe, do all that fun stuff. We'll see you later. Ha 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 ha